Hello team and welcome. In this video, we are going to create a search box that allows you to search in Microsoft R Excel without having to look for any other options of creating. This is very simple. It uses um, less commands, less formulas and less, less text. So here is an example of what it, it, it will look like. So if you have uh, this table here with all these values here, then you're able to search for anything and then it will automatically highlight. So if we say a complete here and we press enter, all those with complete, they highlight. So we will be able to do the same uh, for all other, other cells. So let us walk through uh, the formula that you can use to be able to to, uh, to make this uh, work in real life. So the first thing you need to make sure is that uh, you come here under Sage and make sure you name uh, this, uh, for example, cell that you'd want to. So I would like to name it as my Sage here. Yeah. Just copy this and paste it and press Enter. So it will be named my Sage. So whenever I come here, it should appear as, as my Sage. So that is the name that I'd want you to use to show, see if it's, if it's Sage that is being used, you can verify by doing that. So once you've done that, um, the next thing you need to do is to make sure that uh, you select uh, the range that you want to include in the selection uh, criteria. And once you've done that, it means that you are now ready to go. So uh, first, let's let's make it easy by making sure that we select ads here. We say you say you want to start with with searching ads here, and then uh, we select it. And then we go to here to our conditional formatting here and then we say new row and then under new row make sure we come here to the last one which says use a formula to determine which cells you want to format so the formula that we are going to use uh, is this one so we do equals to and then, and then we say if then we open and then say we use the is blank right is blank and then uh, we open and then my search meaning that uh, cell that we have written as that is the one we are referring to i will explain uh, this formula very soon and then we, op we, we close it and then we are uh, put a, a, a zero here right i'll explain this in a short while so you're able to understand why i'm using all these commands and then the next thing is we're we, we now using my search again here uh, for the second time make sure that you don't misspell anything so that uh, you if you misspell anything you get an error and then here we make sure that um we we, we include this cell that means we use uh the, the columns that are within here but including that uh select sele selection here which is not uh, highlighted like any other so we make sure that we follow from b a b3 b c3 d3 e3 so here we need to make sure that uh, we write uh, the cell names so what you need to do is make sure that um, you write them manually so you put a dollar sign and then you say uh, p3 here and then you put an ampersand to select it so that it's able to follow columns not rows and then we put a, a again a dollar sign here and then we say uh, c3 here put an ampersand and then we say uh, a dollar sign then we say d3 uh, and then we put an ampersand here put a dollar sign and then we put um, e3 right and then we close the first up parentheses for the first a selection and then we put the second bracket to close everything so this is the formula in short that you'd want to use uh, for this uh, method that we'd want to use. So once you've done this, make sure that you come here under format and then you make sure you select the color that you want to be highlighted when you search. On that other cell, it was showing a red. Now let's choose purple to differentiate. So once you've done that, uh, you've verified that this is uh, correct here and then you click OK. So as you can see now, it is highlighted my um, the ads. Then if you come here and say maybe we want to say uh, Ag uh, agriculture agriculture then press enter it goes to agriculture so here is how the formula works so as you can see here the first part is 
if it's blank, it means that the logical test, it will test uh, these values referring to that search, my search cell. If it is true, uh, it means you should return zero in case you've not typed anything. If it is false, then you should be able to return uh, values that are within um, these cells that are selected here. And then on this other, the last part here, the search function, what, what it does now is that it says, uh, find text here in this, um, that, that, that you've typed in my search cell and then within this selected range. So this is how it works. So they're able to understand it uh, and able to explain to someone else when they want to understand how we can use it. So this is how you can use uh, this uh, function in Microsoft Excel to be able to create your own uh, search box for anything that you'd want. So we've searched uh, with um, Focal TV. Let's go with um, by searching by um, course status. So we say complete here and we press enter. All those that are with complete are highlighted. So this is how you do this in Microsoft um, Excel. So I would like to say thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. We'll show you more tips and tricks on how you can improve Microsoft Excel skills. So bye for now and ciao.